Hey guys, Yonk here. Today I'm going to react to SML movie, Jeffrey's Witness Protection. Alright. So let's get started, alright. I haven't reacted to SML in like quite a while. Since like I've been doing like you no know, school and just um, real life stuff and school. So yeah, but now I'm just going to react to SML so, a little bit in a day. So yeah. Maybe that wasn't me. I heard it come out of your caboose. It wasn't me. Look, it was a whoopee cushion. Well, aren't I just a little stinker? Owie. Jeffy, why don't you go do something? Like, go read a book. I can't read. I have an idea. Jeffy, why don't you go check the mail and see if my shoes came in? Wait, you ordered shoes? Yeah, Marvin. I'm sick of walking around barefoot. Uh, yeah, Jeffy, go check the mail. Check the mail? My dog help, huh? Well, take a flashlight, Jeffy. Oh, yeah, we do have the world's brightest flashlight. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! I can't, oh my god, I think I'm blind! Jeffy, oh. just go check the mail! Marvin, are you okay? I can't see, I'm blind! Mail time! Mail time! Mail time! Oh, there is a package in there! What is that? I'm gonna go check it out. Hello? Is anyone there? Easiest murder I'll ever get away with. And the best part is, no witnesses. Oh, hey, did you see what I just did? Maybe. You gonna tell anybody? No. Good. Time to get rid of this evidence. You didn't see nothing. Oh, good. The cops are here. Freeze! Get on the ground, motherfucker. One movement will blow you away. We're not playing around. Lightsaber. I know it's a lightsaber. I've seen Star Wars. It's a flashlight. I said drop it, bitch. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's get him. <coughs> Thought you could murder a little girl and get away with it, huh? Well, not on my streets. I found the murder weapon. Good job, Simmons. Oh, you're going to jail for a long time. Let's go tell your parents what you did. Come on. Are you okay, Marvin? No, I have third degree burns on my face because of how hot that light was and I can't see. You'll be okay. Ugh, your son is under arrest. Jeffy! Was my package in the mail? Yes. Well, did you grab it? No, I got arrested. Ugh, I'll get it myself. Jeffy, why did you get arrested? Your son killed a little girl across the street, no less. Jeffy did not kill a little girl. Oh, yeah? Then why did I find him with this lightsaber, huh? Seems like Sith activity to me, killing younglings. That's a flashlight. flashlight. Okay, Count Dooku. Well, we also found this bloody knife. Okay, did you find Jeffy holding that knife? No, but he was very close to it. Jeffy, did you kill a little girl? No, but I saw who did it. Ooh, tea time, spill the tea. Who was it? Well, I don't know his name or anything, but he was bald with a little bit of hair on his sides, and he was really scary. But was it him? No, close, but no. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Well, I guess we can take you to the police lineup, and you can pick him out. Come on. Okay, Jeffy, these are all the criminals that have been arrested tonight, so just point out which one did it. Can they see me? No, 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 you're totally safe in here. This is a two-way mirror, so we can see them, but they can't see us. Okay, deal with him. Hey, don't point at me, you little shit! I think he can see me. No, 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 he can't see you. Yes, I can! That little shit in the blue helmet and the yellow Jeffy shirt! You're dead when I get out of here! No one's safe for you anymore! No one can protect you! Yeah, that's definitely him. Oh, yeah, this is just regular glass. Huh, I guess he can see you. Well, you listen here. Just because this kid right here in this blue helmet and yellow shirt ratted you out and he's going to make you spend the rest of your life in jail doesn't mean you need to get all mad. You should be mad at yourself for killing that girl. Well, you just tell him that Noah's safe for him anymore because I'm going to send my goons after him. No, uh uh No, uh No, uh No, uh uh Uh-huh. Ha, I got you. I Bugs Bunnied you. So, eh, come on, Jeffy, let's go. Good news, sir. We caught the guy that killed that little girl. And Jeffy, here's the one that pointed him out. Good job, kid. You can have that lollipop. Okay. There is just one more thing, though, sir. The killer knows Jeffy's the one that pointed him out, and he said he'd send his goons after him. Well, you know what that means. He has to go into witness protection. Okay, great. So where's that? Your house. What, my house? Why does it have to be my house? Because you're a cop. You can protect him and his family. But, sir, I don't want them to go to my house. That's an order, guy. Now you tell his family they're moving in with you. I hate my life. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. I thought you got shoes. I did, Marvin. They're shoes with wheels on them. Those are roller skates. <gasps> you should get some, too. Hey there. I have some good news, and I have the worst news I've ever heard in my life. What's the good news? Oh, those are sick. Thanks. Oh, well, the good news is Jeffy's not under arrest anymore because he correctly identified the killer. Yay! Whee! 
God, that looks so fun. What's the worst news? Oh, well, the worst news is now the killer knows who Jeffy is and he's going to try to kill him, so now all of you guys have to come live with me. But why do I have to live with you? It's like witness protection where we protect witnesses, apparently by sending them to my house because I'm a cop. But what if we don't want to live at your house? Why wouldn't you want to live at my house? It's fun. I have TV. You act like I don't even have TV. Well, I mean, what if we just want to stay at our house? No, now you have to live at my house because you offended me. I wouldn't want to live at your stupid house anyway. It's stupid. With, with your stupid red couch. What are you, like five and you your stupid popcorn ceilings those are those are dumb well how long will we have to live at your house i don't know just until they execute the guy or whatever just come on so pack up your stuff and we're gonna have a sleepover we can paint each other's nails and talk about boys come on yay <sighs> okay welcome to my house i hope it's not too stinky for you or whatever it is you were expecting it's not a third world country we have food honey i'm home look we're home why didn't you didn't tell me we were having company. I would have cleaned. No, you wouldn't. You never do any of your womanly duties. <laughs> Yeah, well, look, Karen, these people are going to have to stay here for a little while because they're in witness protection. See, their son witnessed a murder, and now the murderer is after them. Boyne, that was nice of you to offer for them to stay with us. Oh, I didn't offer, and apparently they don't even want to be here because apparently they think we live in a barn. That's because we make animal noises at night, Boyne, right? Huh? She means her snoring. I haven't touched her in years. She snores like a polar bear. <laughs> There you go again, always making jokes. It's because I love to drink Coca-Cola. Yeah, Coca-Cola. So where do we sleep? On the couch? No, Boyne, let them have the bedroom. What, like hell, that's my bed. They can't sleep in it. It's a sleep number. It's adjusted to my body. It knows what I like. But Boyne, you said it was only for a little while. I lied. I don't know how long it's going to be. They could be here for years. Boyne, let them have the bed. All right, listen, where are we going to sleep at? We're okay with the couch. On the couch. No, Boyne, let them have the bedroom. Besides, if we sleep on the couch, then you have to cuddle with me. Ugh. Okay, fine. You guys can have the bed, but don't you dare touch my sleep number. My sleep number is 37, and I'll know if you mess with it. Okay, baby, I'm going to put our stuff in the room. <gasps> oh, my God! I love your rollerblades! Thank you. I got them today. Boyney, I want rollerblades. You don't even have legs, Karen. Ooh, Boyney, instead of a boob job, I want a leg transplant. I don't even think they do that. Hey, can I jump on your back and we can roller skate around the living room? Sure. Whee! Oh, I have to poop. Uh, the bathroom is right there. Just don't touch my toothbrush. Oh, man, I only wipe with toothbrushes. Oh, Jesus, oh, this is going to be a long night. Breaking news, okay? A man that has killed a little girl has just escaped from jail. He's extremely dangerous, and if you see him, call the police immediately. Oh, no, the killer escaped? Well, that's not good. Well, good thing nobody knows the witnesses are here. Wait, hold on, who's calling me? Hello? Hey, uh, this is the, uh, the police chief. Oh. Oh, hey, Chief. Are you sick? You sound different. Oh, yeah. Real sick. <laughs> oh, well, I'm really sorry to hear that. What can I do for you? Yeah, so uh, where are those witnesses again? Well, I took them back to my house like you told me to, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember. So uh, what's your address? Oh, it's a 321 Pickle Tickle Lane. Oh, how could I forget that? Yeah, it's pretty memorable. Uh, by the way, Chief, did you see that the killer escaped? Oh, yeah. Dad shame that is. It would be a real shame if they came to your house and killed all of you. Yeah, that would be really bad. Well, it's a good thing that he doesn't know my address and he doesn't know the witnesses are here, which they are. Oh, yeah, really good. Well, anyways, I'll see you soon. Wait, wait, you're coming over, Chief? Uh, uh, no, I mean, like, see you soon, like, uh, tomorrow at uh, work. But, but, sir, I requested tomorrow off months ago. You already approved it. Oh, oh yeah. How could I forget that? I, I meant, like, uh, bowling, bowling. Bowling? Well, fuck yeah. I'll go bowling with you, Chief. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. So. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, man, going bowling with the Chief? That sounds great. Maybe I'll get that big promotion. Should I let him win? Oh, I'll definitely let him win. I won't use bumpers. Hey, we had an accident. What, we? What do you mean, we? We pissed the bed. We pissed the bed? You all pissed the bed? We were having a tickle fight. And our bladders were full and we what, peed. You pissed in my sleep number, you son of a bitch. It was a cuddle puddle and it escalated quickly. Yeah, it escalated into a piss puddle in my sleep number. I'm done. Is that mine and Karen's toothbrush in your ass? Yeah, I told you I had to wipe. Oh, Jesus, this is a nightmare. I should have let you all get murdered. Boy, it was an accident. In accidents? Plural accidents? What do we do about the pee? You clean it. You clean the pee. You take the sheets off the bed and you clean the pee with soap and water. There were no sheets on the bed when we peed. Oh, good. You peed directly on the mattress? Now it's a piss number. Get the fuck away from me with that. Get, get the fuck back. Or do we just put newspaper on the pee like in Big Yeah, Dad? yeah. You put the newspaper on there and sleep in your filth like animals. Jesus, everybody get away from me. <laughs> Time to teach that kid a lesson for snitching on me. I'm gonna cut him like a fish. 
Oh boy, somebody's at the door. That must be my Uber Eats. I ordered Taco Bell at a Baja Blast. Time to die. Hey. Oh my God, that's the killer. The door's locked, idiot. You can't get in, and I have no reason to ever go outside. Oh yeah. Well, I guess you don't want this Taco Bell, do you? No, my beefy five layer burrito. Give me that, you bastard. All you have to do is open the door and let me kill that kid, and this is all yours. Well, I can't do that, but I got three people who just pissed in my bed I'm pretty mad at. You can pick from one of them. No, I want the kid who snitched on me. Look, I can't let you kill him, no matter how good that Taco Bell is. Oh, really? Well, I guess you wouldn't mind if I eat this beefy five-layer burrito. No, don't do it, you bastard. I'll kill you. No, 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 that's my burrito, you son of a bitch. No, spit it out. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That's my burrito. No. Oh, no, he ate it. The bastard ate it. Have mercy. Oh, man. That beefy five layer burrito was so good. But now I'm so damn thirsty. If only there was something for me to drink. Oh, what's that? Is that a Baja Blast? You mind if I get a sip? Don't you dare sip my Baja Blast. I'll have you beheaded for that. Here I go. <laughs> That's it! You can eat my beefy five-layer burrito, but when you drink my Baja Blast, that's where I draw the line! My... <laughs> ha ha, my Baja Blast! <laughs> well, joke's on you! I have HIV, and I have open sores in my mouth! I don't care, I have my Baja Blast, and the front door is locked, so have fun out there! <laughs> Mm, that's good. You want some blast? Sure. It's got HIV on it. What? Yeah, it's got HIV on it. That's what you get for pissing in my bed, you goon. Ugh. Well, what were you doing at the front door? You were screaming a lot. Oh, the killer was there. What? The killer? Yeah, he escaped. But don't worry, I locked the front door. He can't get in. What about the back door? <laughs> He's the killer! Ah! Marvin, hold my blast. My hands were getting cold. Okay, Marvin, if that killer kills me, do not give him my blast. Even if he has a knife to my wife's throat, do not give him the blast. Got it? Okay. Okay, one more step. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. All right, get out of my house. Are you ready to die? I said get out of my house. Not until you give me the boy with the blue helmet. No. Is that a Nerf gun? Yeah, police issue. <gasps> never bring a knife to a gunfight. That's for eating my burrito, you piece of shit. We'll never have to worry about him ever again. Is that a real gun? Yeah, it just looks like a Nerf gun, so kids will play with it. It's pretty f***ed up. All right, now give me my blast and get the f*** out of my house. <laughs> Jeffy, Rose, let's go. Then again, you know, like, real guys honestly a serious type. I don't blame him. Like, if I had people over, people over as a witness protection, and uh, if I had some of my friends in there or other family members in there, yeah, I know. I know. Would be terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Like, most of them probably use my toothbrush, probably use um, the computer, probably use uh, my toys. My, my, Plus dolls, one night, like, yeah, I know, I don't know, no sir, no sir, all right. But anyway, um, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, I will, I, I will have to rate this a nine out of ten. It's not, honestly nothing. Well, dang, it's it's less serious, but at the same time, it's basically just witness protection for Jeffy. Uh, plot is just about, you know, Jeffy being on the witness protection for, uh, police custody and whatnot. Uh, with Broken Guy and with Marvin and Rose moving in in Bro Guy's house. That way, uh, the bald guy killer will, you know, come and, uh, take Jeffy. So, yeah. Yep. Like I said. Anyway, um, ask him a question. What is the worst thing you have ever witnessed? Um, uh, worst thing that I ever witnessed before? That I ever witnessed? I never basically witnessed nothing, to be honest with you, dude. I guess saying um, the closest stuff that I might witness, maybe. 
is, uh, I don't know, like, uh, news stuff, like, uh, TikTok stuff, or, uh, YouTube, whatnot, or, uh, someone like Robin Banks, or, uh, um, uh, Killing from the street, that's Witness, I guess, you could probably say, I don't know, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was it. That was an SML movie. Jeffrey's Witness Protection. So, yeah. If you guys want to see any videos from me, subscribe for more. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys later.